Hello my little crafty monsters, how is everybody doing today? I hope everybody is fabulous! So, in today's fabulous tutorial, we are going to be... Did you see how I stopped that? I know, I was kind of getting carried away on all those videos. <laughs> Running out of breath and stuff, but anyway. So, in this tutorial, we are going to be making these adorable... I mean, they're freaking adorable little soda pop cards with the glitter heart in the middle. And that little saying says, you soda make my heart pop. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I know, I know, I just can't. I can't with you, Jesse. <laughs> these are super cute. And these are for all of my little soda holics out there because I know there's a lot of you guys out there trying to be like, oh, I don't drink soda. And then I'd be watching you guys downing a Coke right there, right in front of me, like, like, I can see you, boo-boo. <laughs> but anyway, there's nothing wrong with drinking a soda once in a while. My sister's always getting on my case about it. But, you know, I do drink water sometimes. No, I'm just... <laughs> but anyway, anyways, um, this is for you little soda-holic people out there. How cute are these? So these little stamps... <laughs> I actually got them at AliExpress, so if you guys really want these for Valentine's, I would really, really rush on that, like ASAP. Um, but you could definitely use any other kind of little uh, stamp that you guys have. I mean, there's so many different ones, like a little toast and a, a toaster. And like, you know what I mean? Like, just get creative, Bobos. Get creative. Things that go together, I think it would be really, really cute. So this was really, really easy. On making this little bad boy, we just use the um, the card base. We use some DSP paper as a little framing, and then the white paper, which we okay. So before we continue with this, this is also going to be kind of a little product review. And I'm not down talking on anybody's product. I'm really, really not. But this is just the experience that I had using these things, and so. I'm just going to say it because, you know, that's what we do. I'm going to be realistic with you guys. So there's a reason why this little heart. Come on, baby. Come on. Okay. Whenever you're ready, camera, to focus. So if you guys can notice that heart on the corner right here, right here, it's, it's gone. The glitter is gone. And that's because... And this is still to right now. I, I made these cards a few days ago. So like the video, the video of me making it was a few days ago. So this had enough time to dry, supposedly, right? But if you if you touch it and you rub it, the glitter still completely falls off. Now I know that there's you know tricks that you probably could use. I my friend um my friend Tammy once said that I should use a light coat of hairspray so that you don't have a lot of glitter foliage. I don't know if that counts for cards as well. But anyway, um, you have to be really careful when you use a product. And the product that I used to do that was this Recollections. It's a glue pad. So basically, this is... It's a, it's, no, this is the wrong one. So I have one. It looks exactly like this. I have to get it. I probably mixed it up right now that I, um, that I, um, that I was putting this stuff away. But yeah, I totally got the wrong one. So this, Recollections has this one that's an embossing pad. And then they have another one that's a glue one. I'm going to bring it out right now on the video. But they have a glue one. And the glue one is the one that we used. And so it it worked fine when we stamped it and we went ahead and we put the glitter on it right away. I did not even like wait that long. I really did apply the glitter right, right. I mean, I had everything there. So like it was pretty quick. And, um, and then I allowed it to dry and stuff and it still has a lot of, you know, glitter that falls out if I were to rub this paper. So what I did was I, I filmed me using that Recollections glue pad, making the two first cards. And then what I said was, let's just try to do the other, the other um, way that we can use glitter for. And that's by using this embossing powder by Ranger. Okay. It's a Ranger. Everybody does the hand. So does it work? Does it work? <laughs> but anyway, 
Okay, Focus. So it's the embossing powder by Ranger. And it says sticky because it's a glue. And what it does is I use this watermark pad to first stamp my image. And then I pour this like if you were going to emboss. And then <clears throat> you literally have like 20 seconds before this dries completely. But in all reality, that's 20 seconds for it to dry completely. I would say you literally only have about 10 to 12 seconds from the time that you stamp this to throw on whatever media you're going to put on that. Either it be foiling or if you're going to do glitter or whatever it is that you're going to do. This chair is really getting on my nerves, but well, seriously. But anyway, um, so, so what you have to do is you stamp it with any kind of ink. You could use a color ink, any ink that stays wet that will allow this to stick onto it. You do that. Okay, and then you're going to have to use your heating tool to activate this because this once you hit the heating tool, it's going to kind of get clear liquidy and right there. And then you need to add either your glitter, you need to add your foil, you need to add whatever it is that you're going to add onto this glue. And then this glue will harden and there like a little bit of glitter does fall out, but it still stays on there. Not like not like the glue pad. The only problem with this is that you really don't have that much of uh, working time. Like you really, really do have to speed it up. But I'm going to show you how I do it both ways. This video is already getting kind of long. So uh, without wasting any more time, because I know you guys want to get down and dirty with the crafting. So I will see you guys in a bit. Hola, hola, my little crafty monsters. So these are all <laughs> the tools that I have on my table that we will be using. We're gonna use um, the DSP paper, stamps, mixed media, that recollections glue pad, and then we're also gonna use the Rangers embossing sticky powder and stuff like that. And so to start off, we're gonna go ahead and start stamping our images. This is the stamp set, the little soda and um, the bottle ones and the little can ones. I purchased this stamp set on AliExpress. I will try to put a link down in the bottom description. So if you guys are interested in purchasing this little stamp set. And um, so we're gonna go ahead and stamp that with VersaFine uh, ink. And we're stamping that on a mixed media pad paper. And so um, of course, clean up all your stamps because that just makes them last longer. And um, and so right after we're done with these, and this is gonna be easy because we're only making two cards. So this is all the little images that we need. So after we do this, we're gonna go ahead and color them with our little dual brush Tombow watercolor markers. And these are my go-to coloring markers. You guys see me pull these bad boys all the time because they're just easier for me. And so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the top little can and the bottle cap. We're gonna go ahead and hit that with gray just to kind of like mimic if they were like a silver metallic or whatever and then we're also going to do like a little bit of a shadowing now because i've asked <laughs> i've asked around like uh my partner and i've asked my friends and i'm like hey so what color is soda and so you know everybody told me well like seven up and sprite is clear obviously and then um they told me that like you know coke and pepsi and stuff is kind of like a dark dark brown or something like that so I didn't want to go ahead and color these little sodas like a brown so I just went ahead with like a lavender <laughs> and then with a green so the green one I'm just kind of mimicking it like if it was I don't know the little bottle the bottle was green kind of like the sprite and then the lavender well we'll just say that's grape soda so um I I mean I just wanted them to be a little bit more of a color and um and so that's why we went ahead and did the pastel colors on those and so you could go ahead and get creative now if you don't have this little stamp set then you guys could basically use whatever it is you guys want i think that any little two images that you use underneath that glittered heart would look adorable you know i i really really believe that you can use what you got Seriously, I just happened to purchase this and it came in time. Honestly, to tell you the truth, I really didn't think that I was going to get it so fast. But I did get it pretty fast. I could honestly say that I got it within like 
three weeks. So we're already on the 1st of February and um, yeah, <laughs> I don't think we'll have enough time for you guys to get them, but you could always, they're not a Valentine. They're not a Valentine. So even if you order them, you could always use them for something else like a little birthday or you know, a little anniversary to your partner or anything like that. But you could, you, I mean, you could just get creative, seriously. So I am just rambling on right here, Bobos. So <laughs> it's because all I'm doing is just coloring. You guys have seen me color. So there's really nothing to it. Now, because there's no die set on these little bad boys, we're going to have to fussy cut them. That's the only bad thing about this little die set is now I don't know if there's a die set. I just didn't purchase it. Um, so I'm going to fussy cut them and because they're really an easy shape, it's not really that big of a deal. Honestly, to tell you the truth, it's pretty easy to fussy cut these little bad boys. So, um, you've seen me do that plenty of times. Excuse me. I was, <laughs> my throat was about to go out right there. So, um, yeah. So I want to see what you guys come up with. Seriously, I want to see what uh, little characters you use in the front of this little card or like whatever it is that little images that you guys use. Now right here, I'm just going to go ahead and use my Tim Holtz little paper. I don't know if they're called paper snips. I don't know what he's calling them. Seriously. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and cut these little bad boys because I told you these are a really easy little shape to cut. So there's really nothing to it. And since we're only going to cut four of them, I mean, you could do this in a breeze. So, this is also for my little soda holics out there. Aren't these stamps cute? Or, I don't know. I really, really thought they were cute. Not only because I do drink soda, I am a soda drinker, but because I just thought they were cute. So right here, I just got the little black marker and, you know, dotted his little eye because I don't know if it just came... Um, if I wasn't getting the ink right or if because it kind of looks like it's just an open eye and so I don't know if they're kind of making it look like he's winking or something like that but I just I filled it up and then on the inside we're using this little happy valentine's stamp that we purchased at Michael's and that is a current stamp so that comes with I believe it's a little heart stamp and a little key stamp and um, and this is the little sentiment. So go ahead and clean your stamps and then put those little bad boys away so that they will last you a lot longer. And what we are gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and stamp these with that glue, the glue pad. And right here I'm just gonna use this heart because it looks like somebody scribbled it which I really think was adorable. So this is the Recollections glue pad that I was telling you guys about. And what you have to do is you have to just basically re-ink that pad every time you're gonna use it. So um, that's what you're gonna see me do right here. And once we, once we ink this little bad boy and I start to use it, then um, yeah, cause it's not really wet then all you have to do is once you stamp it, you just go ahead and make sure that you put the glitter onto your paper or onto the stamp. So make sure that you have everything ready. I would honestly just have your glitter open and stuff like that because I don't really know how much of a working time you have, but you want to kind of work quick. This is the part where you do not want to take your time, Bobo. So I just used that little anti-static tool and I'm going to go ahead and start stamping it. So let's just pick up some of that glue on our little stamp and then put it on the paper. And then we just throw in our glue. So that's how fast it was. See how cute that looks? I really think that looks really, really, really cute. And so we're going to go ahead and do the second one like this. So this is using the glue pad. And then on the next part of our video, Towards the end, you're going to notice that we will use the heating tool and the Ranger's embossing powder. So go ahead and clean your little stamps because that is glue. And then dry the little bad boys completely. 
And so then right after you have all this stamped and everything, then it's just basically putting it together. So just let that dry a little bit. I'm just kind of sweeping off a little bit of the excess glitter because it just gets everywhere when you use glitter. We're going to go ahead and stamp the little sentiment in the like center part of the bottom. And that little sentiment says, you soda make my heart pop. <laughs> which I thought was cute. Um, so we're going to go ahead and stamp that. You know, a lot of my Valentine cards, I do put a lot of sentiments in the front sometimes, but sometimes I really do a lot of cards that don't have any sentiments in the front. I just like the vocal point to be the actual whatever little image you're using as the focus point in your card. So, but on this one, I mean, that little sentiment was too adorable to not put. <laughs> so we went ahead and put that and so just to give it a little bit more extra something we're going to go ahead and pick up some red ink and put little hearts on the side now this ink is running out but i really like how that little faded heart looks i i kind of really liked how it looks because it looks almost like the edges were pretty crisp but the center part was pretty faded now, I don't remember or know if the stamp, that's the way it is, but, but very cute. So right here, we're going to go ahead and get these little foam squares that I usually normally use for all my projects. And we're going to go ahead and elevate these little bad boys so that they're a little, a little 3D-ish effect. And we're going to put one on each side of the little heart. I kind of try to do it as close as I possibly can, but evenly. And so... There's that little guy. And there's that little man. And so that's really it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put the um, the DSP paper down. Now I don't want anything too, too crazy. I just want something pretty simple. And so we're gonna go ahead and use this little DSP paper and cut this down. Now if you guys need measurements and stuff for card maps and card bases, there will be a link in the bottom so you guys go ahead and click that and you guys will see an amazing fabulous tutorial of card mats and card bases how to do that and so we're just going to go ahead and lay down our first card mat onto the card base and you could use whatever adhesive you want and then we're going to go ahead and put these little bad boys on some dimensions what matthias there's the little man he's he wants some love. <laughs> so anyway, go ahead and put these on some dimensions or you could just glue them if you want. You don't have to really elevate them. I just kind of wanted to give them a little extra something too. Um, I love the shadow that it creates when it's elevated like that. How cute are these cards, right? They were really simple, really fast. And I mean, <laughs> You like the card too, little man? He liked it too. So, I mean, seriously, I really hope this inspires you guys to make a little card using that sticky embossing powder or even using, um, I mean, that glue pad doesn't really work that great for the glitter, but you know, yes, Matthias, I will get you right now. So now we're gonna go ahead and stamp these little bad boys with the VersaFine well, we're going to do one more card and we're going to do it with the VersaFine Watermark ink. And then we're going to go ahead and put that embossing powder, the little sticky powder. And we're going to have to use our heating tool to basically activate that glue. And then we'll use the glitter to put on top of this. Now, you don't have a lot of working time, so you want to make sure that you have all of your stuff ready, like completely ready before you heat this little glue and you activate the glue before you do that you want to have everything ready so that all you have to do is activate it and bam but we'll put the, the glitter on because you don't have a lot of working time so right here now that the glue is on we're going to go ahead and have everything ready like i said and we're going to go ahead and activate the first glue so we're going to heat that so um, as soon as you're ready, Jesse, we're going to go ahead and heat that little bad boy and then we'll throw on the glitter. 
And so there you go. We're going to go ahead and activate that one too. And so you have to work really, really, really fast. Now the excess, I'm just going to go ahead and take that off with my little handy dandy brush. But um, it's basically doing the same. So there you go. That's the way. So I don't know if I didn't work fast enough or I re I heated that one a little, but that second one didn't come out as good as the first one. The first one that I did was pretty good. Hola, hola, como esta? So that's how easy it was to make these cute, cute, Little cards. I mean, these are so cute. I really, really, really love, love how these little bad boys came out. I especially, seriously, I got to be honest with you, I love the little bottles. The bottles are have to be my favorite, seriously. So these little soda pops, these little bottle ones are adorable. But anyway, I really, really like how these cards came out. They really came out amazing. Um, the only thing is, is that, like I said, guys... I my recommendation for using this this is the glue one that I was telling you see so it says the glue pad and it's upside down because I've already used it it's the glue pad and it has the glue on here so you have to apply glue onto your pad before you use each stamp however like I said guys I don't know if I did this wrong or whatever you guys tell me but honestly to tell you the truth I wouldn't use this again because I really didn't like how it was not holding the the glitter and I use a super extra fine glitter so this glitter is super fine but anytime that you rub it it basically falls off so I didn't like that about that I went ahead and I just got some VersaMark watercolor and then I went ahead and I got this little bad boy the Ranger embossing powder and then right here it says sticky so that's what we used on the second card that you guys are going to see. And that one, um, it has a little bit of falling, foliage, but you know what? That happens to all glitter stuff, but, but the design stays intact. It does not, see, that's me rubbing it. It's not, it's not really coming off hardly at all. So if I were to do something with, um, with glitter like this again, I would definitely go with these and I would definitely not go with this because this just didn't work for me. Um, now the only problem with these two little bad boys is that you don't really have a lot of working time. You guys have to be super, super quick. If you guys stamp the glue and then you heat it, then you better have whatever material that you're going to use on hand because you are not going to have time to have this glue get activated and then you try to go run around to go get whatever it is that you're going to add to your project so it's not going to work like that boo boo's not going to work so um that's the only that's the only bad thing about this i wish that you had more of a little bit of a working time but i'm pretty sure that they designed it that way for certain reasons uh maybe because you know like you don't want it to kind of spread out or get smashed or anything like that. So you kind of want to continue working and not have to wait for something to dry. Maybe that's why they did it that way. But when you're working with it, you really have to have everything on hand and you have to be like completely ready. Like honestly, even have your glitter top off. So you could just stamp it, heat it and throw that glitter quick. Don't even wait a second. Um, because like I'm saying, it dries like in 20 seconds or 15 seconds, really, honestly. But for me, to be in the safe side, you've got 10 seconds to work with, boo-boo. 10 seconds. You better hurry up on that because she dries and forget it. Forget it. Nothing's going to stick on her anymore. But anyway, that's how easy it was to make these little bad boys. I hope that inspired you guys to make some cute little cards of your own. We're going to have some more valentine cards coming up because i did buy some more stamps jesse you need to stop you need to stop i really did i don't know why i don't really need any more but i did anyway so i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it for you guys don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button as well as that notification button so you guys will get notified every time i upload a video and you won't fall behind on my videos bobo because you don't want to be behind and share and tell a friend because your friends need to know how fabulous these videos are i sound like a broken record but i'm gonna keep telling you guys 
I'm going to keep telling you. So anyways, that's it for now, my little crafty monsters. Goodbye for now.